So when we have really bad subsolar abscesses, obviously opening them up, getting ventral drainage is paramount, and then keeping the foot you know, bandaged, clean and dry. I mean, essentially you have an open wound on the bottom of the foot. So for a seven to, day, a seven to 10 day period, we like to A, soak the feet day one after the abscess has been opened and drained, just to clean it out and get as much dirt and debris and uh, purulent material as possible out and then wrap with uh, a wrap that has a waterproof layer on the bottom. Um, in our practice, we just use duct tape that is layered, um, you know, making a blanket with overlying strips to make it about four times as thick as a normal piece of duct tape. And that makes it pretty waterproof and then bandaged with vet wrap and elasticon to keep it clean and dry. And then once the area um, has dried, the horse is back to a reasonable comfort level. Then we like to, to put a shoe and a pad on it. And underneath that pad, we like to pack with oakum, venous turpentine, and copper sulfate all mixed together. Um, and essentially that creates an antiseptic packing that we put under the pad and the shoe. And essentially that in our mind is a six week bandage. And so then at the six week mark, likely we have to reset that same scenario. And then usually by the, the 12 week mark, you know, the soles regenerated, everything's nice and thick, back to normal. And then it goes back into a normal shoe or barefoot, whatever it was in to begin with. But keeping that area bandaged, I think is the key to preventing re-abscessation. So if you have an abscess, which is essentially an open wound, you've got drainage and then dirt and debris and bacteria, fill it, you know, seal it up. Again, you're right back in the, the same boat you started in.